In today's video lecture, we will be seeing the physical general science, physical science question paper of 2022 board examination of TA students of class 10th. Inshallah, I'm going to explain all the answers of the solutions. So, if you find this video helpful, so let's start. So, these are the questions of part B, as you can see. Since the clarity of these questions is not that clear, I have written the questions and I'm going to explain you the answers. So the first question is, what is the valence of chlorine element? Okay, so for this, we need to know what is the atomic number of chlorine. So if you know the atomic number of chlorine, it is 17. Okay, so how can we write 17 as if I want to distribute it in shells? 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. Now, you should know what are valence electrons. Valence electrons are number of electrons in the outermost shell. So, which is the outermost shell here for chlorine atom? M shell. So, M shell has how many valence electrons? 7 valence electrons. So, whenever the valence electrons are more than 4, then the formula to calculate valence or valency is 8 minus valence electrons. So, what is the valence electrons here? 7, right? So, what is the formula? 8 minus valence electrons means 8 minus 7. So, what is 8 minus 7? 1. Therefore, the valence or valency of chlorine is 1. C. Option B. The answer is 1. Understood? C. I will say once again. Chlorine atomic number is 17. How can I write 17 as 2, 8 and 7? How many are valence electrons in outermost shell? 7. So, what is the formula to calculate valency? 8 minus number of valence electrons. How many are number of valence electrons here? 7. So, 8 minus 7 is 1. Okay. So, option C, that is 1. Second question is, which of the following is used as rear view mirror in vehicles? We know rear view vehicle is used in uh, mirrors. Which mirror is used? Convex mirror. Option A. Why is convex mirror is used in rear view vehicles? Because in rear view vehicles, the mirror which is attached has to show uh, uh, many cars in it or many vehicles in it so that uh, the driver can drive properly and no accidents happen. So, which mirror will enable uh, a large field view or which mirror will show the objects in small in size? The mirror which shows the object small in size or which will give large field view is convex mirror. So, we want the uh, ob many objects to be seen in that mirror, many objects to be seen in the mirror means it should be a convex mirror. Therefore, rear view mirror is a convex mirror. Third question is metals used in ornaments. Al means aluminium, aluminium cannot be used in uh, metals, ornaments. Sodium, Na cannot be used in ornaments. Gold, yes, gold symbol is Au, it can be used in making ornaments, that is jewelry. Fourth question is the method of purification of molten metal stirred with logs of green wood is. Now, this is given in your textbook from the chapter Principles of Metallurgy. Okay, see the answer to it. Polling. The molten metal is stirred with logs, poles of wood. Okay, what is it? Polling. See, the molten metal is stirred with logs, poles of green wood. The impurities are removed either as gases as they get oxidized or refined by this method. So, what is the answer? Polling. Here, only one single L should come. But in the objective, I think they have uh, given a double L. But no problem. If you know the method, it's enough. So, what is the answer? Option B, polling. Question 5 is, electronic configuration of copper is. For writing the electronic configuration of copper, we need to know the atomic number of copper. Okay. And since here, what did they do? They gave argon. AR means argon. And then the remaining co electronic configurations. So, we also need to know the electronic configuration or that is, we also know the, we also need to know the atomic number of argon. So, which uh, two atomic numbers we should know? We should know the atomic number of argon and we should know the atomic number of copper to write the electronic configuration. So, from this periodic, modern periodic table of elements, we get to know that electronic configuration of copper is 29. This is called as atomic number. And what is the electronic configuration of argon? Electronic configuration of argon, that is 
वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू हाउ मच इज इट टू प्लस टू फोर फोर प्लस सिक्स टेन टेन प्लस टू ट्वेल्व देन वी हैव थ्री पी सिक्स सो ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स इज एटीन दिस इज स्टिल आर्गन कॉन्फिग्रेशन ना आफ्टर आर्गन कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी हैव फोर एस एंड वी हैव थ्री डी राइट सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज आर्गन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड सी विच इज मोर इज फोर एस वैल्यू ऑफ एन मोर और थ्री डी वैल्यू ऑफ एन मोर वॉट इज एन एन इज द नंबर विच इज अटैच टू एस पी डी एफ सो हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज फोर एंड हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज थ्री वी नो दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू अबर्स प्रिंसिपल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंटर इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग एन वैल्यू दर इज द रूल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन राइट सो थ्री इज लेस देन फोर सो फर्स्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल एंटर इन थ्री डी एंड देन द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल एंटर इन फोर एस सो when we compare 4s and 3d so we can write this 3d first it enters in 3d how many maximum electrons can come under d 10 electrons can come under d so 18 plus 10 is how much 28 electronic atomic number of argon is 18 right 18 plus 10 is 28 now we know it one more because the electronic uh, the atomic number of copper is 29 till here we get 28 28 plus 1 is 29 so what do we get 4s1 we can write so after 3d 10 it will enter in 4s1 so what is my electronic configuration argon 3d10 and 4s1. So where is the electronic configuration argon 3d10 4s1 in the options? It is option number A. Argon 4s1 and 3d. Okay. Next is sixth question. Magnification of the image formed by concave lens. Now this question was asked in the comments by one of the students. By mistake, I had given a wrong answer there. I had uh, thought that this is concave mirror when. Uh, he or she had asked right but here actually it is asking magnification of image formed by concave lens remember when i sent you the pdf in that explanation i said that concave lens is same as convex mirror and convex mirror produces which type of images convex mirror produces virtual images and how how much what is the size of the image which is produced it produces diminished images so convex mirror produces virtual image and diminished image and convex mirror is same as concave lens so it means that concave lens will also produce virtual and diminished images diminished images means smaller in size so if they are smaller in size means they have to be less than 1 and virtual the value of m is plus for convex mirror or concave lens the value of magnification m is plus for convex mirror or concave lens so where is m plus in which two options magnification m is plus in 0.75 and 1.25 but concave lens is same as convex mirror they produce which type of Im images they produce diminished images diminished images means it should be less than 1 where is it less than 1 in option b 0 plus 0.75 So the answer for magnification of image formed by concave lens is plus zero point seven five. Okay, suppose it would have asked convex concave mirror and convex lens, then it can either produce real images or virtual image. Both the uh, types of images are possible in case of concave mirror or convex mirror. So the value of m will depend based on that. Okay, either m can be minus or plus, but here m will be pakka plus because we have concave lens which is same as convex mirror okay sorry for the wrong answer before next we have a uh, seventh question is when a honey bee stings and injects ethanoic acid what is used to get relief from the pain so remember in the answer you have options calcium hydroxide soda water common salt lemon water lemon water is acidic so if it is releasing acid how can acid uh give relief against acids so option d cannot be true then common salt is a neutral solution how can neutral solution give a uh, relief from acids so option c is also not possible then we have option between option a calcium hydroxide and option b soda water it didn't tell baking soda actually we know that in the textbook it is given that whenever a honey bee stings the answer will be sodium hydroxide or oh, sorry the answer will be baking soda okay and baking soda is also called as sodium bicarbonate so either if it would have it would have given uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda or na2hco nahco3 then the answer would have been that but here it is telling soda water what is soda water 
सोडा वॉटर इज नॉट बेकिंग सोडा सोडा वॉटर इज कार्बोनेटेड वॉटर कार्बोनेटेड वॉटर मीन्स वन विच हैज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन इट इफ द वॉटर हैज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन इट एंड ऑल सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स सोडा वॉटर इज अ टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक ऑल सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स और ऑल कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स आर स्लाइटली एसिडिक सो अगेन हाउ कैन एन एसिड गिव रिलीफ अगेंस्ट एसिड एंड सोडा वॉटर इज यूजफुल वेन वी हैव स्टमक एक बट हियर इट इज आस्किंग इंजेक्ट एथेनॉइक एसिड और इट इज यूज टू रिमूव कॉन्स्टिपेशन सोडा वॉटर बट हियर इट इज टेरिंग इट इज बी इज इंजेक्टिंग एथेनॉइक एसिड सो ऑप्शन कैन नॉट बी सोडा वॉटर ओके बिकॉज इट इज स्लाइटली एसिडिक देन वॉट अबाउट कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ये कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज अ माइल्ड बेस ओके कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज अ माइल्ड बेस सो द एंड ऑल्सो इट इज यूज इन सम टू रिलीव पेन इट इज देयर ओके कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज अ माइल्ड बेस एंड ऑल्सो इट इज यूज टू रिलीव सम काइंड ऑफ पेन सो ऑप्शन इज पॉसिबल दैट द बेस कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज अ बेस इट इज यूज टू गेट रिलीव फ्रॉम एथेनॉइक पेन कॉज बाय एथेनॉइक एसिड ओके दर इज हनी बी पेन नेक्स्ट इज एथ क्वेश्चन लीथियम सोडियम एंड पोटाशियम आर द डोबेनियर स्ट्राइड्स Lithium atomic weight is seven. Potassium atomic weight is thirty-nine. Then the atomic weight of sodium is how much? How to do this? Remember, according to Dobernier, what did Dobernier do? Dobernier said that the atomic weight of the middle element, atomic weight of the middle element is equals to average of atomic weight of first element plus third element divided by two. That is said by Dobernier. Atomic weight of middle element is equals to atomic weight of first element plus atomic weight of third element divided by two. What is the middle element here? Middle element we have to find out. Atomic weight of middle element. What is the middle element here? Sodium is the middle element. So sodium atomic weight we have to find out, right? Middle element m. So what is the atomic weight of lithium? Seven. Plus what is the atomic weight of uh, potassium? Nine. Thirty nine. So seven plus thirty nine divided by two. That is arithmetic mean of first element plus third element divided by two. What is seven plus thirty nine? Seven plus thirty nine is forty six. So we get forty six by two. What is forty six by two? Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. So we are getting the atomic weight of sodium is twenty three. So what is my answer? Which option gives me twenty three? Option C. So my answer is option C. Ninth question is. Which is the balanced chemical equation given below? Balanced chemical equation means number of elements on LHS. Uh, a number of atoms of, uh, should be equal on LHS, and that number of atoms should be equal on RHS. Here, if you observe, the number of atoms of carbon is one. Number of atoms of carbon is one. Number of atoms of oxygen are two. Number of atoms of oxygen are two. So it is option one only. Option A. And if you see the other equations, you will get to know that number of atoms uh, of magnesium, oxygen, and iron, aluminium, all these are not equal. So only option A is true. See carbon, oxygen. LH is carbon one, okay, and RH is also carbon is one. Oxygen two, oxygen two. So it is balanced chemical equation. So option A is the answer in case of ninth question. Now tenth question is, what is the image position of the object in the given ray diagram? So here, if you observe, uh, I explained in the PDF of important questions, okay. That whenever the object is between F and C, you will get an image beyond C. So the answer is beyond C. Option C. How do you get this? C. Whenever the object is between F and C, a ray is parallel to principal axis. I have to draw with a scale, right? I'll get a right answer. I did with scale here. It is passing through focus. Then when it is passing through focus, it will be parallel to principal axis. So this is my C. It is beyond C. Is the image formed because these two rays, which you see, this ray and this ray, this ray and this ray, they meet here at this particular point, which is beyond C. So my answer is option C. Okay. Hope you have found this video helpful. If you have found this video helpful, like, share, subscribe, click that bell icon.